Hello friends and welcome to this hummingbird tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to use layers to create the look of detailed feathers. So let's get started. For this demonstration I'm using this royalty free reference photo from unsplash.com and I will link to the photo in the video description. Also, if you are new to my channel, I primarily share tips, strategies, and tutorials in watercolor for beginner artists, and I thank you for joining me today for this lesson. I'm using Arches Cold Press Paper for this hummingbird, and Windsor Newton and Daniel Smith paints, and my wonderful black velvet brushes. I will have a link to the supplies in the video description as well. I'm starting with this cobalt green color and painting on dry paper. I'm using small strokes and making sure to paint in the direction of the feathers by referring to the photo. This is my biggest tip for painting any animal realistically, is to pay attention to the direction of the fur or feathers. I'm building up the layers of color generally from light to dark. I will show the colors on the screen as I use them through this process so you can follow along.
Once I had the wet on dry tones added and the feathers were dry, I went in with some green gold to do a little glazing here and there over those feathers just to brighten them up.
paint the background, I added water all around the hummingbird and added several shades of green to blend wet and wet, creating a soft, abstract effect. To make sure the bird still stood out and contrasted against the background, I added darker green and Payne's gray next to light areas of the feathers and lighter green next to darker areas. Once the background was dry, I added a few more details to the feathers with Payne's Gray and used some liquid bleed-proof white to add a few highlights.
Thank you again for joining me for this watercolor tutorial. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more watercolor tips and tutorial videos. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about watercolor painting that I can answer for you, or let me know what subjects you would like to see me paint in future videos. I read and answer all your comments, and I would love to know your thoughts. If you would like to keep learning about watercolor techniques from me right away, click one of these videos on your screen. Happy painting and I will see you next time.